Weekly. You're still tuned in to Culture Daily and this is Unpacking. Now today on Unpacking, we are going to be doing it differently. Again, I'm going to apologize for how croaky my voice is. I think that I was doing a lot of screaming over the weekend, so that is why you're hearing me as you're hearing me. But yes, if you are listening and wondering who this is, please, it's still the one and only Lenny Lomote. All right, so today we are going to be doing Unpacking differently. You know what they say or or how they define speed dating, right? Back, 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 very fast, time no day, right? Get to know the person and move. And so that is what we are going to be doing on Unpacking this morning, right? But let's call it speed interview, okay? Let's just leave it at that. I have the nominees um, for this year's TGMA Unsung category, okay? All of them are here. So we are going to be having the conversation. But my first batch, I have the twin superstars, Lali and Lola. And then I have seated right opposite me, Kenny Ice. Hey, hey, Hello, hey, guys. Hey, hey, Yo. We're in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. And see... All of them have a lot of energy. I don't know why Kini is, you know, quite laid back now. <laughs> Please, I've seen your videos. Give me energy. Or should I, I speak away? I mean, it's it's morning, so. Nam energy. It's, Nam, it's morning. Yeah. Nam ginger. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, how is ginger said in away? Gumetaku. Nam gumetaku. Hey, hey, hey. How is that a man? Hey, hey. Yeah, I speak good away. I think Ooh. that my away is way better Ooh. than Ooh. my gun. Anyway, oh, great. but yes, you're all welcome. Thank you. Thank um, you. Congratulations on nominations. Thank you. you guys Thank you. have been at it for, mm -hmm. you know, years and years. Yeah. For those who do not know, the TGMA's hitherto known as VGMA and Sun category was introduced in 2014. Okay, first winner was Miss V. Now, 10 years down the line, we've seen so many other people win it and they've gone ahead to do amazing, okay, mm -hmm. in the music industry. And so, yes. You guys, like I earlier mentioned, you've paid your dues. You're still mm. paying your dues. Mm. You know, you're still doing your thing, right? Mm. But let's quickly touch on, you know, how it all started for you, for those who don't know, right? Mm. But let me start with my ladies. Kinney, there's mm. a thing I do here. I prioritize ladies. Oh, so yeah, of course. Ladies first. Take yeah. the back seat, <laughs> okay? So let's start with Lali and Lola, and then we, we get to Kinney. Princess treatment. Yes, like it's that. important. <laughs> yes. So, guys, we're well, Lali X and Lola, Lola your, your favorite, favorite Ghanaian twin. Okay, and we do we do Afrofusion music. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen us a lot in December. We did like most of the huge festivals and concerts. We were on Beam concert at the stadium. We did live band as well. And we were at um, Rapaholic, um, Rhythms on the Runway, Life. Tidal Rave, Miss Malaika. You've I seen us, day. most photogenic, TV3. Mm -hmm. You've seen us everywhere, guys. And also, we have like, um, what's it, like 18 songs so far. Yeah. Yes, we've been working back to back for you guys. So and yeah. that's starting twenty twenty one, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. starting yeah. Yeah. yes, ending of twenty twenty one. 2021. So we have yes. eighteen songs. We have like six music videos, and we had our own concert last year as well. Yeah, which was crazy. It was sold okay, out. So, we're so yeah. Yeah. yeah, you've been working. That's like the brief. Okay, yeah. brief. I like that you're keeping it short because yeah. we have a few more things to talk about. But Kenny Eyes, yeah. please take us through you know your journey as well in keeping it brief. Well, yeah. Um, what up, Ghana? It's your boy Kenny Eyes. I'm a hip hop and Afrobeat artist. Um, I grew up in Aflao in the Volta region. Uh, I have like lots of music, but my music speaks for the people that feel like they're less privileged and like their dreams are not valid. Because I came from the bottommost bottom and I think I fell in love with hip hop because it, it gives me the freedom to like say the things I want to say. Maybe I, I, I've been raised to not talk directly at elders, mm -hmm. so maybe I would want to say something to you, and I know when I say it to you, my, you can't face it. Okay. So I have to put it in the music. In the music. Yeah. So I was doing um, rap music, and uh, I was playing soccer as well, and all that. But okay. then officially, I kicked off um, professionally in 2015. Okay. And even as I then, I wasn't really putting out music. I was just trying to groom myself, you know, hone mm -hmm. my skills and everything. So um, I can say I've been around for almost close to a decade. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like, one year short of a decade. <laughs> yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been in the studio with like all the greats, you know, in, in Ghan Ghanaian music. Yeah. I have a song with Castro. I have a song with Kofi Kinata Whoa. episode. I haven't seen the one with Castro, but I think I've seen the rest. And then mm. Kamido. Yeah. Um, as so, well as um chief one yeah, yeah. so it, it yeah. has been like 
a journey and I, I, I normally say to myself, if persistence and consistency was a person, it will be you. Kini eyes. Kini eyes. You yeah. also sing in Ewe, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunately, let me just say it's unfortunate, but you know, we, we say that um, singing in other languages aside the chi, mm -hmm. you know, the people who do that are marginalized. It's mm -hmm. rather unfortunate, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Through and through unfortunate mm -hmm. that, that that happens. But, you know, what was the decision to start um, putting Ewe, you know, doing the blend, the English pigeon Ewe well, blend <laughs> funny for enough, you? And how has it been so far? Funny enough, when I, when I like, started, I wasn't even doing music in Ewe. Like, I wasn't even putting Ewe in my music. Okay. But then... It got to a point I felt like, no, the, the, I needed to have this originality. I needed to, like, be able to express myself and not, like, feel kind of timid. I should, I, I should, I should have this confidence and boldness okay. in myself. So when I'm speaking ever, in the name of God, do my own tongue, like, there's this... Energy element. Uh -huh, okay. you understand. Okay. So, but then I also knew that thing, that there was this, you know, thing that if they, they can't understand your language, it's kind of deep. But, in other parts of the world, it's, it's not like that. Yeah. I know that as well. So I try to make sure I fuse in, you know, like the English, the pidgin, so that people who don't speak ever or people who don't really, like, understand what I'm saying can get a clue of whatever I'm saying in my music. Or they are parts of the music they can sing along. Yeah, they can so. sing along and right. all that. And it's it's been like that. I've always been intentional with it. You know, there are times I do, like, songs that are, like, 90% ever mm -hmm. because I, I'm directing the song towards... That side. that side, and then right. there are times I had to, you know, maybe twenty percent of the airway and more of the, you know. So you get so the balance. More, yeah. So right, right. Lali and Lola, can you yeah. guys mention confidence, right? Yeah. And if there's one thing that we've seen with your brand and even in the music, right, over the period that you've been doing it, yeah. it's how your confidence has peaked yes. over time, right? Yes. How did you get to that point? And then now we come to the excitement mm -hmm. of your nomination. Okay, so ever since we were young, we've always been in front of a crowd, like emceeing, hosting, dancing, every single time, like everywhere. Okay. So, okay, you say it. Okay, so, <laughs> so basically, I feel like it was the household we grew up in, mm -hmm. because our household is very democratic. Mm -hmm. um, it's a conducive environment for you to say everything that's on your mind. If it's wrong, we correct it there yeah. and then. Yeah. So it's a safe, we created a safe space in our household. So that's what um, gave us the impression that we can be ourselves, and when we step out into the world, we carry our heads like this. Hi. Very, very Hi. high. Okay. And I feel like um, we also found confidence in our sound as well because we took some time to understand our sound. So if you listen to like our first like few two, two, three tracks yeah. versus now, like you can see the There's difference because now in our sound, we know who we are. We do Afrofusion music. We can go into R&B, do pop, do soul. Just double, you can even do high life. That's why you're referring to yourself as Afrofusion, Afro -fusion, right? Exactly, and then we okay. add the dance to it, okay. and that just like takes our energy to a different level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking <laughs> about energies to a different level, Kimi, um, I'll refer to you as a rapper, right? Yeah, yeah. But are there any other genres that you find yourself, you know, um, drawing to? And then how would you refer to yourself? If if I don't, I don't believe in putting people in boxes, mm -hmm. but, but should you identify with certain genres? Which genres would these be? Well, um, funny thing is, I've I've I think I've played with almost every sound because mm. I've. I have a lot of songs out like you can if i can count myself i should be around like 43 songs already she yeah so i have two eps a butter vibe sound check EP, and the, the sound check ep actually is me you know like doing a lot of rap mm. you have you have the, the the one that has deja vu on it like featuring camido right like you, you you hear me singing a lot and then this is edm music or so, some people call it techno music yeah mm. you know i have i have songs like that mm -hmm. and then the rap is what i started with so like they know me like that but yeah. i play with every kind of sound that i feel anything that can just make me like create music or even like put rhythms on it mm -hmm. like i'm good i have afro songs I'm even like about to put out another album. You have reggae in there, dance hall. You know, like I just, I just love to, I just love to like explore sounds. But then right. I'm like a tree. So the main tree is the hip hop and the rap, and then the branches. The branches are yeah, there. Yeah, I like yeah. that when you say you're like a tree because yeah. I, I say a thing that you know everybody is um, dynamic, right? Yeah. They are different. Um, facets and aspects to people, right? You, yeah. you don't have to be one thing all yeah. of the time. Mm -hmm. 
Do you understand? So I like that you say that. Because I want to, uh -huh. I want to like have music that speaks for almost every mood. Okay. Because, excuse me, I love to talk. Mm. You know, so I love to touch on almost everything that is happening. I can wake up tomorrow and like do a song and say, Charlie. Three music is like the best platform. We for, thank like, you. I just want to talk about yeah. stuff. Thank you for you saying know? that. We so. appreciate it. <laughs> now, let's get into your nominations, right? Mm -hmm. um, for those who are wondering how it came about, did you pull through for nomination? You know, were you called that you've been nominated? And then after the shortlist came out, right, mm -hmm. what was the excitement for you? Um, let's start with Lola. Okay, so... Um, People recognized and um, nominated us mm -hmm. and recognized our hard work. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for that, we are very, very, very grateful. Yeah. Um, and we ended up on this wonderful, wonderful platform. So let me tell you, we were at home sleeping. Mm -hmm. And then our dad called us saying, yo, get up and watch TV. So uh, <laughs> watch TV. Like, so okay. we got up, we hadn't bought nothing. And then they said our name. We just took our phone. Oh, oh, it's so up on our IG. Yeah, like, it is. We look like uh -huh. it's crazy. And we still were like, now nah, we need to take this raw moment. Let's like, yeah. soak it in. Yeah. And we want, want our people to be on the journey with us as yeah. well to know that, okay, we really do acknowledge. We're happy that yeah. we were acknowledged mm -hmm. and put on this platform because mm -hmm. to us, we are going to squeeze every, 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 every last leverage of this. Yes, of course. It's important. Oh, it's very important. Easy doing that. But we'll come to you. I mean, voting is still possible. So yeah. we'll come to you on your short code and all of that. But I want to hear from Kenny Eyes as well. <laughs> you know, the feeling, the euphoria, you know, when you, you know, realize that like, um, you were nominated. It's 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 crazy, you know, because I think I have I have this, like, very sweet and interesting story you know, regarding like the, the TGMs, mm -hmm. cause last year they brought their experience concert to the Volta region. Uh, and being one of the biggest artists there, you know, like with a large following, I was invited to like, you know, grace the stage, even mm -hmm. though I wasn't a nominee. And then due to one, one thing or like some other stuff, I couldn't perform. Okay. I was on my way out of the venue and then I met Camido. Okay. And they're like, oh, yo bro, what's up? Let's get on stage. So I got on the stage and then I told the people, Charlie, they say our time no reach, so mm -hmm. today we no go fit perform. Mm -hmm. But tell them say we they come, and then the crowd was screaming like we they come. Oh wow! And then the following year, which is like this, this year. year, I'm on it. So it's like it's been something I've been wanting, and the people that support my music have been. Everybody is like Charlie, it's been long overdue. What's happening? And even right now, there's a conversation on the social media that Kenya is bigger than the Ansan category, you know, because they feel like. I've been here been I've done, for a long and, time. and all that, but but it starts from somewhere. I you am know, still so. seeing it as <laughs> one of the most golden opportunities in my music career because I mean, I've not been here, mm -hmm. and this is me on three music. Team. I've been wanting to be here, I told you. You're welcome, and yes, this is me here that. because TGMS has you know put me on, mm -hmm. and then I get this energy from. The Valley rest of my, Lola. you know, like they give me some vibrant energy. Uh -huh. I already have a song with Kasa. I'm, I have a pending studio session with Christian Morgan. You know, like I'm just trying okay. to max out the opportunity yeah. and then get to show the rest of the people that don't know Kenya is that uh, whatever the people are saying, it might be true, but you don't know. So I have to show you. And okay. the TGMA has given me that opportunity that. too. So yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm like excited because the day excited. I got the call, I was like, yo. I mean, I, I, I wasn't expecting and, it. And you know what you're saying only speaks to, you know, what everybody or what most people say that nomination is also good recognition mm -hmm. enough. Because mm -hmm. if you were not doing anything mm -hmm. good, you wouldn't even be nominated mm -hmm. in the first yeah. place, right? Mm -hmm. Not everybody can be a winner. Mm -hmm. Someone has to be the winner. Yeah. Someone has to be a nominee, right? I mean, so that's still good there are millions of like talents all over the mm -hmm. country that wants to be here. And being part of the chosen few, like it's it's yeah, crazy. Amazing. You know, they are introducing you to like a very wide audience. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm I'm enjoying the fact that now people are getting ah yo, where have you been? I've, I love yeah. your music. You know, I get the, these DMs a lot. And, and this like, is your time to milk everything you can yes. milk from it. Yes. Give me dry. <laughs> of course. Dry. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Important. Now let's let's get into you know the voting short code and yeah. then we do the swap because I said. <laughs> Speed interview, right? Yes. So <laughs> we're yes. going to get into the conversation with Alaptoan and um, Kusia Meuga mm -hmm. as well as Kasa. So, mm -hmm. yeah, vote in short code. Okay, guys, so as we said, your Walali X Lola, your favorite Ghanaian twins, A A A. And guys, we have a unique sound 
we dance, we sing, our personality is off the roof, our energy is 100, 200 percent. Mm -hmm. Because you're 100, 100. Yeah, 100, then you add it. That, 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 <laughs> the math is mathing, yes. <laughs> so guys, vote for mm -hmm. us. Um, the short code is U2217671 on Telesell. Or you can vote online by typing TGMA voting and just click the link, use your number, verify it, and then you and vote for us. The girls with the two red hair, you can't yes. miss us. Guys, <laughs> guys, guys, vote for us, okay? We've been working really hard. We've been all on, we've been on all the shows, uh -huh. big shows. We have done our own concert. We even have a concert coming up this okay. week. Yeah, as well. So that, make then. sure you vote for us, guys. <laughs> okay, let's get the votes running. But Kini Eyes, your short code as well. Yeah, so... Um, the name is Kini I spelled as K E E N Y I C E. Um, if you want to vote for me, you want to see me perform on a big stage in a big night, just text U3 to 1767 only on Telesell or just visit allvotes.ghanamusicawards.com. You know, get on the platform, vote for your boy Charlie. You know, I mean, it's been a long time coming. We are here, so Charlie, make we, make we put the icing on the cake and everything. I know you love my music. Make so you run up. Make you run up real quick. Charlie. Okay.